and come on to that stream, we here. You feel me? I got the game, I got the controller. Whatever you want to see, let me know. We'll be on any game. No, no matter what, I'm a GOAT. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to that motivation, I want to be that man for that. Because nobody can't tell me I want to motivate you. You can check out all my videos. It's your boy Tygo to go ahead let me know. Anything you want to see, I got it on my channel. Motivation, you know how it rocking streams come to. If you want to see me drop them off on Monday, that's what I do. If you see me on the Wednesday motivation I got, I got goals to reach out to them all. Just go ahead, check me out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tygo coming back at you with another video, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Today we got a little different little scenery, but I want to get into it. So um, today, I want to talk to y'all about like finding your little motivation. Me, I found my motivation by basically going through the struggle, working with a job that basically I go in and then it's like, I feel like I do not like being here, you know what I'm saying? And so whenever, whenever you at this level in life where you just starting, you need your little job, some people making minimum wage, some people making more than that. And um, so when you in the, little, the lower stage, you start to feel like you're undervalued. And that's simply because once you start off, you're gonna start off at the bottom. The only way you get into the top is by knowing the right people, getting them papers, or doing a little bit of both. And um, me, my motivation just came from basically, I don't like being at the bottom. And um, when people sit up here tell me what to do on the daily, I listen to them, you know what I'm saying? But like, at the same time, some of the stuff be like, are you serious? Are you asking me to go do something like that when you can simply do it yourself, you know what I'm saying? But then when you start at the bottom, it's like, dog, I gotta do everything else that somebody else do not wanna do. So when I get my paper, my stack, anybody can't tell me nothing. I wanna be my own boss, you know what I'm saying? If not my own boss, I wanna have, be at that level where I'm not gonna be making pennies, I'm not gonna be listening to the, the lowest person on the echelon, which is, if you don't know what that is, basically, that's a tier. And like tiers and hierarchies, those are those things are very it's quite similar, you know what I'm saying? But like the the higher you are, the the more you could do. The lower you are, you can't really make no executive decisions. You have to go about you gotta go through other people to get things done. And then going through all those steps, one false move could be your whole job, your whole career. You know, going about things sometimes you gotta go about things a little bit different than others. But um, like let's say you got a problem with your manager or whatever, you can't just walk up to your manager and just approach it without documentation. Without documentation, they can say you you did something to them that really pissed them off, you know what I'm saying? And um, once you do that, you basically just threw yourself under the bus because then it's her word over your word. And um, at, at that point, without your documentation, if they go ahead and run to corporate and you're gonna be stuck, because you didn't take that step and just go talk to somebody higher than that person, you're gonna be shooting yourself in the foot. And then once you shoot yourself in the foot, all that time you try to work it out or try to talk to your manager or however you did it, if you went about it wrong, that could be your whole career or job. Your job could be going just like that with a snap of your fingers. But um, let's keep on getting into it. I know I might motivate you, I might motivate a lot of other people, you know what I'm saying? But it's just through my, what I go through out my daily and how I see things. When when I go out in life and I go out every day, I start to notice different patterns, different things. Some people treat you as if you're a person. Some people treat you like you're not even a human. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's just based on your, your ranking. And like, if people feel that they got more power than you, let them feel that way. Because when you at the top and they've been treating you like that, it ain't gonna fly. Cause once once you on top, you get to make your decisions. You get to tell people what to do. People can't come up to you and try to treat you like you're under them. Once you on top, you don't gotta worry about nobody else, how everything's roll. And um, basically, how I get this, like when I, take, take for instance my job. I go out, I do things, I help other people, you feel me? You know, me helping other people, some of them take it as a weakness, some of them take it as you actually being genuine in your heart. And those that take it as a weakness, once I'm on top, I ain't gonna care about the people taking it as a weakness, you know what I'm saying? Cause soon soon as I'm on top, you can't tell me nothing, you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me how to walk, how to move. I get to make my own decisions. You can't govern me, 
I govern myself. And once you under people, that's the only time you can let that happen. Well, not really let that happen. Well, that's the only time that's gonna happen. But once you get your papers, you get whatever you gotta do, once you get to that point in life where it's only you being the, decide, the deciding factor on what you could do, how you can approach it, then you know where you stand. But I wanna use this as motivation. When you go throughout your life, you start to notice different things. Some people treat you as if you actually wanted them. Meaning, you actually have some value, your respect. Me, my respect is over everything. I want my respect from everybody. If I give you my respect, I respect to get it in return. If I can't get that in return, then I'm like, oh, I only care for you, you know what I'm saying? Because the more people that respect you, the more easier things gonna be. Because when I go out, when I step out, I don't see nobody disrespect me like that. Because me personally, when people go out their way to try to disrespect you, you, you see that. And once you see that problem, that's a problem like that when people disrespect you. That's like somebody crossing the line that you told them don't cross. You don't do that. And people that disrespect you, they're basically testing your gangster. When they test your gangster, they see that you got one thing, you got two things, fight or flight. You see that you're going to resolve the situation, you're going to let things happen. I'm not letting that happen. I don't like to be ran over. I like to govern myself. You know, I want to use this to y'all so that y'all notice that certain things in life, you can't just let this slide. And so you gotta be, you gotta be your own person. Where it's like, I know in my heart, I don't want to go out that way. I'm not gonna let things roll out that way. And so if you in your heart know that you want your respect and you give out respect to you, you expect to get in return. So if you get it in return, then there is no problem. When you walk, when you go anywhere, it's either they're gonna respect you or they're gonna try you. Simple. And most of the time, people respect you, but if you look like that one little person that people think they can run over you, they're gonna take that as advantage and they're gonna try to go ahead and run over you, you know what I'm saying? But if you let that happen, basically, you gonna be the one that's gonna be feeling like, oh, did I really just let that happen? Why did I let that just happen? And so, you getting played with, you start, they start to go to your head. And once they go to your head, you gonna start to realize Either you a weak-minded person or you don't value yourself like that. And those, there's a lot of strong people out in this world that go ahead and make the sacrifices and go ahead and go through their little struggles until they get where everything has to be done. But others, if you don't have to be in a situation, don't let it happen to yourself. And that's real talk. Because when, when you let yourself be involved in situations, it can go to a point where it goes too far and you're already stuck. And so you can be trapped. And some people can be trapped mentally, physically. And once you trap in mentally or physically, it's gonna be hard to get out the trap because you're gonna be too busy worried about the um, the side effects, the causes, all that. But at the same time, you gotta choose to get yourself out of that situation. But um, this is what's how go. You know what I'm saying? It's just some sort and simple. I'm gonna start coming at y'all with some more heat on the next chapter. And this one, this just. This might be like the end of the real talk session, but I'm gonna start getting into some more topics. So it's gonna be a real talk, but it's gonna be like part two or like chapter two, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's your boy Todd Gordon coming at you with this. You know, this is a conclusion. Maybe not. We're gonna probably go to the chapter two on the next one, but I'm gonna catch y'all boys later. And um, sorry about not, not uploading the little gaming video or whatever, put me on like on Monday, you know what I'm saying? But I was, I meant to go ahead and do that, but I scheduled it for the wrong date. But um, don't don't follow me on that. I mean, I also been seeing like a lot of traffic on my um motivational tips and stuff like that. Most motivational, motivational video, and then a lot of people they DM me on Instagram or like text me and say like that motivation really helped them out. So um, me coming there, with some motivation. I just want to help y'all out throughout y'all day, throughout y'all life. Cause any anybody in your in your ring, in your circle, I want to be that person that you can you can count on for motivation. Anytime you're feeling down, you can just go ahead and look at one of my videos, and I hope they're biting up your day. But I'm Mr. Boy Ty Gold, and I hit y'all boys up later. And girls, you know what I'm saying? But I'm out. Damn, niggas, head off. You don't want to go.